Welcome to the Times Union Center here in Albany, New York on a Sunday afternoon in mid-February. It's Mac Basketball tonight. The Quinnip today, the Quinnip Kiak Bobcats visit the Siena Saints. These two teams tied in the conference standings for third place at 8-5 and five in the Mac. Should be a terrific matchup here this afternoon. Robert Lee, Kelly O'Donnell with you from the capital of the Empire State. As they introduce the starting lineups, clearly as it has been all season for Siena, all eyes on now eight-time Mac Rookie of the Week, Jalen Pickett. That's right, with that eighth Rookie of the Week award, which you earned on Monday, that ties Kevin Hasbrook for most in program history, and just a couple more away from tying the conference's all-time record for Rookie of the Week, Adelation, and you know, so much of the emphasis is on his all-around game, 6.1 assists per contest, which is 18th in the country, but he can flat-out score as well, and back he's just 75 points away from breaking Nico Claret's program record for scoring as a freshman. If you're wondering how many more Rookie of the Week awards there are, there are three more Rookie of the Week awards, so he would need to win all three to set the all-time record. He would need to win two more to tie for the all-time match record of 10 Rookie of the Week awards. Today, a formidable foe, Quinnipiac, coming in playing well. 13 and 11. They've won three of their last four, although most recently a surprising loss against Marist at home on Friday, 63-61. Quinnipiac also 8-5 in the MAC, and they're being powered by the probable frontrunner for player of the year in the conference, graduate student Cameron Young. Yeah, I think that there's little question that it's his award to lose at this point. He's averaging almost 21 and a half points per game, which is not only best in the MAC, uh, but it's among the top 30 in the country. And I think more than just the the number that he's averaged throughout the season, you really have to look at what he's done over the past dozen games where he has scored 20 points or more in out of the last 12 games. And of course, Robert, Siena has been winning basketball games by pulling its opponent to around 60 points over the past dozen or so games. It's hard to keep an opponent at 60 if one player goes off for 25 or 30. So for Siena, they really have to lock down camera down. Saints in the home whites, Quinnipiac in the road blue. All-time series, Siena leads 8-5, to five, although Quinnipiac swept Siena last year in three meetings, including a 67-58 win in the MAC tournament. It'll be Abdullah Bundu to jump it up against Evan Fisher. Our officials today, Rob Riley, Eric Curry, and Michael Palau, as Quinnipiac wins the opening tip and will put the ball in the hands of point guard Rich Kelly, a sophomore. Great. Oh, wow. <laughs> He just lost Manny Camp. Smithen and Seymour were there, but Young jumped higher. Smithen looks a little bit bothered right now. Can't tell what it is, but something's nagging at him after he went for that rebound. Beautiful look to Boondu from Kelly. Four points for Boondu. Six went on a huge run in that Iona game. Took a 13-point lead with eight minutes to go. And then, as Kelly said, scored one point the rest of the game. Were outscored 19-1. to one. And Iona did what they've done so many times in this building beat Siena and win, period. They've won the last two MAC championships here in Albany and three straight overall. Coach Kelly answers with a bucket at the other end, his first two. She's not quite 63% from the free throw line as a team. Kelly, he's basket again. What if you getting whatever they want, whenever they want here? Kelly's got four. Back up to a 19-point lead. Quinnipiac's already scored 12 points in the first almost five minutes of the second half. Camper lays it up and in. Rich Kelly rejected. 18-point lead for the Bobcats. Got a 12 from the field. Baskets and dunks or layups. Check in on Kelly again. Five on the shot clock. Kelly steps back and shoots a three. Lights out so far this afternoon. Set play here. Wanting to get Bundu rolling to the basket. Instead, they'll reset with 12 on the shot clock. Kelly, mismatch with Degnan, blows by him. Lays it in. Nine points for Rich Kelly. Rich Kelly is six foot one. Kevin Degnan is six foot nine. And frankly, Kevin Degnan's not going to be able to guard Rich Kelly. Young forced to give it up. Seven to shoot. Kelly guarded by Degnan. Kelly 
Shoots it over him and scores. Kelly with the 11. 5 to go, 8 point lead. When he could have put the shot up to Ratliff, he was able to get it back, was aggressive to the rim and scored. First Seattle player to score 30 or more in a game and since November of 2017. Young kicks it out for a huge Rich Kelly 3, it's good! Rich Kelly, cold blooded, he's got 14, gives Quinnipiac the lead. Under a minute to go, Saints have two timeouts. Timeouts. Spot for the sophomore. It's just one of four the game from the outside before that shot. What a dream is Fennerman in the NIT back in 94. And considering Sienna has played most of its games recently in the 50s, if I would have said, what are the chances that two players go over 40 in this game? Pick us to three points away. Easy basket for Rich Kelly. He's got 16. That route was blocked. He had to flip up a difficult shot. And how about 41 for the freshman? They're trying desperately to get the ball to Young. Camper is his shadow. Ten to shoot. Kelly teed up by Degnan. To a wide open Marfo, who's fouled hard by Smithen. Smithen has four fouls. That's a good one to give. Marfo is a 56% free throw shooter. He'll have two shots. Smithen had no intention of blocking that ball. He went straight for Marfo's wrist. The right thing to do. Which is more finish. Which is the combination that got Sienna back into this game late regulation. Almost stolen by Pickett. Instead, it's an open Kelly. Three, it's good. 19 for Rich Kelly. Tough break for Sienna. Looked like Pickett was going the other way. It's a four point lead. An unselfish pass by Ragoni to give it up to Kelly there. Kelly's had the day so far. Pickett, Smith and they come out to double Young, try to get the ball out of his hands with Fisher. Eight to shoot. They do get it out of his hands. It's Kelly for an open three. Oh, Rich Kelly. 22 and a timeout. Huge shot for the sophomore. He has hit some big ones in this game. Now four of seven from the outside. But Aviak has taken 33 pointers. They've made 15 of them. And <laughs> Big shot I mean, sophomore. He has done that throughout his career. And that is just a big time shot when your top player has to give the ball up. A sophomore from Shelf, Connecticut now has 22 points. He steps up with an absolute killer three. Now, plenty of time left. 47 yep. seconds left, but a five point lead. Seems half to score on this possession. Now, plenty of time left. 47 yep. seconds left, but a five-point lead seems half the score on this possession. Young, Kelly, and Williams have combined for 89 points in this game. The rest of Quinnipiac's roster have a total of 13. Rebound, Robinson. Fouls. Kelly is fouled. Judging by Jamie and Christian's expression over there on the sideline, we may never know, but was Sloan Seymour shooting it from 30, the number one option there, after they just called a timeout? Right. Had a good second one, though, with Pickett. say he's the most play he's the player most responsible for his yeah. team winning this game i mean young did tie it up as Pickett hits another three 46 for Pickett. incredible 104 100 that is finally the last shot 107 100 this crowd clapping that was one heck of a basketball game a great moment between coach christian to make it up leaving at the scores table as they shook hands just a second ago where you could tell they both gave each other a look where it was, I'm sorry because neither team deserved to lose this game, which is true. One team was going to catapult into first place in the conference standings. It happened to be Quinnipiac, and, and they deserved it, no question, before you could argue with that Sienna did too. What an unbelievable effort by both
both teams in, in a game like you said for for the fans here today just awesome what, what a show unfortunately sienna at eight and six is now in a tie for fifth place that's the difference that's the difference they were only now they're only one game out of first place but a win they go in a tie for first place a loss they're now tied with iona they do have the tiebreaker no 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 not necessarily they split with iona they're tied at eight and six